Cast down. Diligent excavator. Oh! All right. Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and today, as the filming of this video, Ravnica Allegiance has officially released. So, as a result, today we are going to be opening a Dominaria bundle. <laughs> uh, why the heck are we opening this? Uh, it's because since uh, Ravnica Allegiance just came out, um, I don't have any yet. The I do have some stuff being shipped to me, and it should be here in a few business days. <laughs> Uh, not super connected enough to get the boxes early, so we'll just have to wait a little bit. So if we're going to be opening up this in the meantime, uh, but I am really excited to get a hold of some Ravnica Legion stuff and start cracking into some of those packs. It's a, it's a uh, interesting set, you know, it's none of the stuff sounds crazy interesting, but it's uh, and then when you look at the the cards and kind of like what the uh, people are speculating about them it's kind of nothing nothing is very surprising where you have you know a bunch of heavy hitting mythics at a price kind of high and then as far as like all the rares the the shock lands are basically at the top there's no real rares that are worth more than like ten dollars but it is an interesting time because you know we're not sure which which of the cards that are not mythics are going to really shake up the meta and kind of blow up so that's that's pretty exciting I'm excited about that uh, there are a couple cards that you know I feel like I feel like have potential so I have kind of like made a couple purchases and acquired a bunch of them ahead of time but again so today we're just gonna do some Dominari we do have 10 packs for the bundle and as far as Dominari goes uh, I'm pretty happy with how we've done um, in just our own openings all right, so first packs, excuse it, Holland Golem, and then Marwin Nurture. Uh, and actually, I think I have, yeah, so as far as how we've been doing with Dominaria specifically, pretty happy with it. We've actually gotten two Lyras and a Sulphur Falls for the heavy hitters. Um, so, still looking for that Tafari. It's pretty crazy. That guy is up to like mid 40s at this point. That would be definitely ideal. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, if you're looking forward to Ravnica Allegiance and, you know, you do want to see that content, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and we'll be doing that uh, very soon. Once once the stuff arrives. So we have the Fall of Thran. Destroy all lands. We also have some of the showdown packs uh, coming, so which which could be interesting. Um, those those guys are kind of a interesting idea where you know you do have like you know you get a couple rares and you know you get a couple foils guaranteed. All right, so we are four packs in and definitely nothing too crazy so far. Void Woodland Cemetery, okay. Pretty good. That's that's one interesting thing, you know, with especially with the Ravnica sets where there's so much emphasis on the land that kind of creates a weird uh, you know, situ oh, there we go, <laughs> top retreat. Uh, weird situation when you're opening packs as far as what you want to see, you know, it's kind of, to me, it's kind of strange where you're more focused about the lands, which is less so about the set. Um, but, I mean, I guess I guess it kind of comes with the territory when when this is the, um, you know, the rotation that we're in. So we have a mythic here. All right, dampening, dampening sphere, which is pretty good. Sarah's angel foil, nice. And then the Knight of the Wind Grace. Oh, 
Always nice to see Sarah Angel. Uh, been in so many sets. All right, so we're over halfway through. We got four packs left. Um, nothing too crazy. Two dual lands or two of the lands, which is nice. But Dread Shade. Three three for one black plus one plus one till end of turn. All right, we do have foil though. All right. Three packs left. No mythic so far. I feel like every bundles that we've opened has had at least one mythic, I think. So that'd be pretty disappointing if this one did not. Alright. Cast down. Diligent excavator. Oh! Alright. <laughs> there it is. The Tafari. Oh man, I can't believe that. Been hunting this guy for a while. Yes, this guy is about $45 right now. And we just got him. Alright, let, <laughs> let me get situated real quick. Uh, let's see, where's our... Oh man, I'm unprepared. Alright, we'll put this guy off to the side. Whew! Man, these, these bundles... <laughs> have been really good to me so far. And so for Ravnica Legion, I don't have any bundles on the way. And now I'm starting to seriously rethink that. We got another Sarah's Angel, Memorial War, and then another Mythic. Dargaz Reincarnated. Not a very good one, but still, two Mythics, one of them being the best in the set. Wow. It's a very strong opening. All right, last pack. Man, I feel like whenever I'm opening cards and they get like crazy hit, you know, I'm just kind of stunned. Immolating Inferno. All right, and there we go. That's all 10 packs. We'll do a quick recap. All right, so we did get a couple foils. Got a common in the Warlord's Fury. Sarah's Angel, iconic card. We do have two of the dual, uh, the you know the two color lands and Woodland Cemetery and Clifftop Retreat. Pretty good. We did get a Mythic in Daragaz Reincarnated, and of course, finally, Tafari, Hero of Dominaria. Best card in the set. Wow, what a what a good bundle. Um, so yeah, actually, as far as Dominaria goes, like, we did really good. I'm, I think I still have some loose packs that now I'm really tempted to just crack into them. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're excited about Raptor Collegians, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll be getting into some of that uh, as soon as we can. The stuff is on its way. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, definitely drop a like. It definitely helps the channel grow faster. Other than that, uh... I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.